Investigators with Indiana State Police in Teller County tonight questioning a man being held on menacing charges about any possible connection to a double murder in that state. Daniel Nations facing felony menacing and reckless endangerment charges here, but is now being questioned in the February murders of 14-year-old Liberty German and 13-year-old Abigail Williams in Delphi, Indiana. Nations, a registered sex offender, has a long criminal history, including convictions on drug, alcohol, assault, indecent exposure, and domestic violence. Our news partners in Indiana spoke with Nations' friends about the kind of life he's led. He was pretty much living under the underpass, sleeping in my son's car. He never really had a place to stay. Was he ever scary or violent? No, not no, not when he was at my house. Indiana State Police released a composite sketch of a possible suspect tied to those teen murders, and they are now questioning nations about his whereabouts at the time of their deaths, and they're examining DNA evidence. Now, there are more questions swirling tonight around nations and reports that he was menacing people in the monument area with a hatchet. Nations does admit he owns a hatchet, but says he never used it to threaten anyone. He was also in a possession of a 22 caliber pistol when he was arrested in Woodland Park. Now those menacing reports were made in the Palmer Lake area. That's near where Tim Watkins was shot to death. We've reported on Watkins death extensively. The well-known cyclist was found dead earlier this month, prompting the El Paso County Sheriff's Office to warn citizens to remain vigilant. We do want to clarify, though, no connection has been made between local authorities or th no connection has been made by local authorities between nations and Watkins murder.